I don't know if you can tell what room we're in, but we're in the, the Rice Theatre. And I'm, I'm really excited that we get to do this in here. We've all been in here for cabarets and, and that kind of thing, but this is kind of a return to this, this room's roots, which feels really nice. I think the last time I did a play in here was uh, The Pillow Man. Like, I, I, don't, I can't even imagine how it was. <laughs> like, this room is so different. So I'm really looking forward to see what's gonna happen in here. When someone who doesn't like pizza crust gives you their pizza crust. When a little baby gives you a hug before it leaves. Every Brilliant Thing is about, um, it's about a lot of things. The play to me is about a young man who is trying to make a list of his favorite things to give to his mother who's suffering from depression to try to lift her out of it. But then subsequently in his life he rediscovers the list and adds to it and adds to it and adds to it until ultimately he gets to a million things. I also uh, have had my struggles with anxiety and depression over the years and so so I know what that's about, and the taste is always, always very nearby. It's something that I'm always working on. It's such a hot topic, it's such a, an epidemic of, of anxiety and depression, and I think that more and more people are talking about it, uh, which is great. And I don't think there's one magic bullet for curing it or helping our society get through it, but certainly mental health is a, a very important thing that I think we're all starting to understand. That might be something that uh, scares people away from, from seeing this play, but ultimately it's uh, an extremely hopeful story because of the way that it's told. And again, this is another thing to not be terrified about because there are going to be audience members who are going to be involved in it. They're going to be, it's absolutely consensual <laughs> involvement in the play. They're ultimately set up for fantastic success and they are the most important people in the story and the most important it's, mo it's so important for me to make sure that they feel happy and welcome. It feels like a, a wonderful group meeting where we're all together in it and that sense of community and that sense of, of sharing without being put on the spot to be sh to share something if that makes any sense. I don't know, I just feel like we're all going to be sitting there holding each other by the end of it. And, and I think that will just be the most wonderful, be the, that will be the most brilliant thing possibly, is being together in a room together and sharing that experience.